So, one Santa Claus panel, plus 11 fat quarters, plus a 12th fat quarter, is going to equal one 12 Days of Christmas Advent Calendar. Alright, let's get to cutting and sewing. Okay, so I have my pockets cut out. I still have, what, 14 and a half by 18 and a half out of the fat quarters, plus some six inch squares. I think they're six inch square. Yeah. And, uh, so I don't know if I will use these for the backing or if I'll set them aside and do another project. To see what I have for the backing. Because these are really kind of pretty just to put on the back. And just to have just a little pocket. I'd rather just do a solid backing, I think. And then save this for another project. And that's what I'll do. Okay, so I forgot that I wanted to do a border on the front of the quilt as well. So I did six inch strips horizontally to go across the top and the bottom. And then I did six inch strips um, cut on the vertical so that they can go down the sides. Um, I will probably have to mix in my leftover six inch squares. Well, they're not totally six inch. I think they were just what was left out of that cut that I had. Um, <clears throat> and so now I'm going to put them on my design board and we'll bring you back. Okay, so I've got my panel. I got my six inch square, or six, they're not squares, six inch cuts around the sides and the top to do my borders. And I've got here in the front, I've got my two stacks of six inch pockets and over here on the left hand side that's what's left over so that I probably will make into just the backing for this and I probably have to add something else to it I don't think there's quite enough scraps left there but we'll see what I come up with um, anyhow so now I'm gonna go ahead and sew my borders together and get the top actually put together and then I'm gonna do the pockets and I'll I'll show you how I place the pockets on there. I think I'm going to do them kind of toward the center area, like a couple here on the side and a couple toward the bottom, that sort of thing.
So this is what happens when you're not paying attention and not feeling well. I think I got all the rest of these correct except for these two directional ones have the opening at the top. But I need to go lay down so this is a pretty easy fix. I'm literally just going to glue it. I could hand sew it closed, but I'm just going to glue it down. Hopefully it won't stick to the, st like stick the pocket closed. <laughs> I should get a wonder clip and clip it so that it's up off the other fabric. But for the moment, just stick a pin in it and hope it doesn't glue the pin in. <laughs> Well, more than a little bit. I need to go lay down. 
sit in my easy chair, take a treatment. Come on, hurry up. Okay. Oop, too much glue. try to keep that up off the top of the other fabric okay okay so I got my top done pockets are on um, and I am gonna go ahead and use the scraps that I had left for my backing so I've got 12 and a half inch squares the largest ones here and then these actually are more than 12 and a half inch so I think I'm just gonna cut them down and <clears throat> then I had six inch squares and six inch strips there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start with sewing the big blocks and these strips together. And then I may need to make some strips out of the six inch blocks and the little two by six pieces there. But I'm just gonna cut this down to 12 and a half inches real quick here. Actually, I forgot some here. And this is just the backing, so I'm not going to be real precise. Just going to get the basics done here. And I tell you what, I'm even going to go like this. I'm going to be so unprecise. <laughs> Looks like I got a couple pieces in here that might fall a little bit short of the 12 and a half, but I'll just make do. So basically I'm just going to go by this top, top one here and cut it to that. In fact, I could just take scissors here and we'll just go through all of them real quick here. And I'm probably cutting too many, and I'm cutting with an old blade. Yada, yada, yada. Right. Set that aside. Get the little scrap pieces out of these. Set those aside. And then we'll just start sewing them together and random order. Okay, I think I got it figured out now. I'm just gonna go ahead and time lapse the rest of the backing and I'll show you what I come up with.
Okay, so my background's coming up a bit short of my front, on my top, so what I'm gonna do here, I could just find another piece of cloth and make it longer, but what I've gone ahead and done here is I actually went ahead and kind of brought it in on the corner over here at the top brought it in a little ways and what I'm going to do is actually I have like a five inch or six inch border around the front so I think I'm going to take that and actually turn about three inches of it under and um, just use that as the binding so I actually have my backing here a little bit too wide so I'm gonna what I'm going to do is cut a five inch strip off of this side here and then tack it onto the bottom and then I should have just the right size to be able to quilt my top and back and backing together and um, then then I will bind it just by turning over the front edges so I think that should work we'll see okay so I'm glad I just figured this out I didn't have to cut or sew anything I have so much misdirectional fabric in this backing I didn't really care I, I messed up and well I didn't mess up I didn't really pay attention and had some things going the wrong direction um, and I just decided I didn't really care and so looking at it after I told you before that I was gonna cut a piece off I thought well duh just turn it to the side so anyhow um, I don't know if it's showing up very well on camera but there is you can see that the top that's on the this is the backing that's on the front here and then the top is beneath it right now and so the top is going to have mm, about two to three inches around the border that's going to um, get pulled over to bind down so but yeah that's what I'm going to do next then just sandwich it together and fold the binding under well I'll sandwich it together I'll probably have to do a little bit of quilting on it it's mostly going to be a wall hanging but could also be used for a quilt for a little bit of time. Okay, so I actually cut this a little bit longer than what I needed to. I forgot I could have gone right up to the edge of this because I'm gonna flip this over um, for my binding but oh well better to have a little bit extra than coming up short so and I really only need one layer in fact technically this probably didn't if I'm not gonna use it for a quilt it probably didn't really need batting even I might use it for a quilt for about two weeks, and then I'm going to use it for an advent calendar for about two weeks, and then it's going to get put away for the rest of the year, because it's Christmas. If I had done more of a winter theme to it, I would have just left it up in January. very much Santa Claus so it'll come down within the week after Christmas that's kind of how we always did holidays is well I mean icicles and things can stay up through January but Santa Claus probably needs to come down around before New Year's or around New Year's take it down New Year's Day, right? Yeah, if you feel up to it. <laughs> Alright, so I'll put that one back. And I'll get my backing. I actually put the top piece on the bottom for right now so that I can line it up and then know that I have extra to do the binding. Okay. The 
this is gonna be a trick. All right, so I need to make sure that I'm gonna have about two inches on all sides. So, that's gonna be extra wide. It's the length. So it's not the width I need to worry about, it's the length. So let's go ahead and try to sever it in here. Precise here. It's just an advent cal a fun little advent calendar for us. So I don't feel like I need to be real, you know, an inch and an eighth. Oh my goodness. No, it's an inch and a quarter. Oops. <laughs> I'm an eighth of an inch off. Nobody's gonna be measuring. Nobody's going to look at anything but the little gift pipe peeking out of the pocket. <laughs> In fact, I was just thinking, the gifts that are too big for the pockets, I think I'm going to just put a little note in the pocket as to where I've hidden it in the house. <laughs> I think that'll be kind of fun. I could, make, I could do it like a scavenger hunt too. <laughs> All right, so that's mm, about an inch. off the top. Okay, let's see what it looks like from the top. I pulled it under. Yeah, I think that'll be good. All right, now I'm gonna pin it from this direction, but then I'm actually gonna quilt it from the other side. So, kinda curious how that's gonna go, but I won't be able to take my pins out and I won't be able to see how I'm pinning. Hmm. Maybe I should have flipped it over. I should have used fusible, but I don't have any fusible batting right now. I will. We'll see how it goes. here and there. <laughs> not sure if I'm going through the pockets too or not. Because it doesn't really matter.
Yep. Got a couple right there. work my way from top to bottom. I may just take the pins out of the bottom and redo it. Just do the top part here first. And then take the pins out and redo. I'm just kind of in a hurry and unfortunately that's usually when bad things happen. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is just literally stitch right around. Uh, maybe I do want to take the bottom out right now because I want to stitch right around in a square. Oh. I want to go right around in this on the square between the red and the green, and then I think I might stitch in the ditch on the outside borders as well. And then I thought maybe I would just do along the bottom of the pockets. some swirlies around Santa. Hmm. Oh man, that hurts. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and actually, I don't really like doing a, I don't want to do a line under the pockets. Maybe I'll just do some swirlies here at the bottom. Huh. <laughs> I'm probably not going to worry about the border because I'm going to bind it under and so it's going to be quite a bit smaller than what it is right now. <clears throat> swirls in on this arm there and some swirlies in here I think that'll be it okay so I'm getting ready to quilt my advent calendar quilt and change my foot lose my pieces here.
Okay, I'm just gonna measure down three inches from the top all the way around. I'm gonna hope that my border, well, I can already tell my top border is a little bit off. Um, but I'm gonna hope that it's close enough. And I'm gonna You know what, actually, this is the longest border right here. I'm literally just gonna go ahead and figure out what the size of that is. Two and a half inches. Okay, let's go two and a half inches down. So I'm going to need to cut a bit off of this end right here. Just trim that up a little bit. Otherwise, I think I'm going to trim off this border piece right here. You can see it's a bit longer. So trim that off and, and I think we'll be good. have a two and a half inch piece to flip over the top. Grab my cutter here, or scissors. So this part, I'm just gonna cut like this. Straighten that off. straighten this up a bit. Should have grabbed my rotary cutter. Oh well. Okay. Got that one. Now let's do the other side. Okay, down from the top, two and a half inches. thinking I could flip back, which is actually the front, underneath, and then cut this, but I need to know where the two and a half inches is, so. fold this under. You know what? I could, I'll do it. Fold 
this back under out of the way. And then cut it with the rotary cutter. But the key point here is, do I have the backing out? You know what? I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> to risk it so just cut it All right, so that's what I'm gonna do on the other two sides. You don't need to see all of it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna iron this down. Iron this in half, and then I'll just fold it like that and put my binding clips on and do my binding. And this just helps me get a nice, um, helps keep it nice and flat so it doesn't bunch up then when you're going to sew the binding. And I usually hand sew, so. Alright, so then I'll just get my clips in. Start clipping that on. <laughs> 